Welcome, Vault Dwellers. My name is Nacho Bidness, and we're back at my settlement at Nordhagen Beach. This is my boardwalk settlement. If you missed the intro here, the concept is that this was a bunch of structures at a boardwalk slash sideshow carnival attraction that have sat empty for a couple hundred years, and settlers have slowly started to repair and refurbish and move in. So we're walking past my batting cage. The, uh, the other kind of carnival stuff was, uh, was on that side. Showed those in another video. But today we're going to take a look at Flynn's Arcade. And good for you if you recognize the uh, Tron reference there. The outside is, uh, is pretty plain, but that's okay. It's the inside that, uh, that counts on this one. Looking through the display window, we can kind of see the prize area, and that uh, Silver Shroud costume is something that is there to entice people, but uh, nobody ever wins enough tickets to actually get that Silver Shroud cartoon or costume. Welcome to Flynn's Arcade. On the left here is the prize area. That giant teddy bear is another thing that no one ever gets enough tickets for. Same with the pristine teddy bear and tricycle back there. What people do win sometimes is down here in this uh, in this vendor stand, which we got out of a patch, and there are people assigned to this, but it's around midnight game time, so nobody is standing back there. It's got a few little trinkets, you know, some toys and keychains, baseball cards, and just some things that would maybe entice kids. Certainly I was very much thinking of bowling alleys and pizza parlors from when I was a kid. Got a vending machine area over here with some soda machines and a, and a cigarette machine. I certainly used the pieces that were made available with the Nuka World D DLC, including these ski ball machines. Looks like somebody forgot to pick up their caps. But I've also got a ton of mods that, uh, and also some things that I've just glitched together myself. For example, that Porta Diner vending machine is out of a mod, and got a token machine here because everything here takes tokens have some slot machines in place as well as oddly enough some guys just standing inside the wall that's weird it's a new mod out that is called sci-fi posters and another one called horror posters that really added a lot when it came to putting a lot of movie posters and things throughout this building over here is a race car game I was thinking about arcades from when I was a kid and um, how you would sit inside the those racing game uh, arcade cabinets, and there'd be a steering wheel and a and brake pedal and stuff in front of you. And that was uh, that was the inspiration there. Over here is a pool table and pool area, and you would not believe how hard it was to come across six pool cues when I was level 150 plus. In fact, that was the single hardest piece of junk decoration to find in this whole settlement was filling out all six of those pool cues. Now this rocket decoration up here is something that I thought was cool. It's obviously from Nuka World and I thought that just kind of putting it on the ground looked a little boring. So I put it up here midair and then used some conduits and some wires to make it look like it's, uh, it's hanging from the ceiling. There's the hoop shot game from Nuka World. And over here is where some of those other games that I glitched together are. Couldn't really make like a really good looking shuffleboard game, but that's my attempt at least. The score is uh, six to four, or four to six, depending on which side you're on. Got another stand-up arcade cabinet over here, as well as this one, which is kind of built into the wall. Got a couple joysticks sticking out the front. This one I like a lot because I used a, a bobblehead stand 
couple of power conduits from Voltec DLC and that sign from Nuka World to just kind of make what, in my mind at least, uh, it looks like a, a, a twin stick shooter. Um, got the Wackakami game over here with the Kami Whackers and those Kami Whackers were kind of hard to find in Nuka World but uh, but they're out there if you if you look hard enough and they're a fun little addition to those to those you know kind of whack-a-mole games there this over here is a, is a real-time strategy game that is maybe a little too high-tech for for Fallout but I couldn't resist putting it together it looks like uh, someone has made a claim to uh, to next game wants to play the winner there is a family that lives in this building and we will take a look upstairs just as soon as I recover from the crash okay we're back I thought I had turned off enough lights and things around here to avoid the crash issues but I guess not there is a family that lives upstairs here in this attic and I put uh, some stuff down here that felt like it belonged in an attic just some random boxes and junk and thought it was funny to put the exercise equipment up here in the attic where it's not getting used because well that's what happens a lot of times in the real world the family has strung this cloth screen across here to give some semblance of privacy to this or separate space for this room where there's a couple of kids that live. You can see that they've got some comic books and uh, other kinds of books on their desk there as well as a few other little essentials over here. It's kind of dim up here because I wanted to light it just like a real attic and I don't know about your attic but mine just has a single bulb that hangs from the ceiling up there. Over here is a separate space where the parents live. They've got a bureau and a double bed here as well as a dresser and hamper. Not completely decorated. I've said before I didn't completely decorate residential spaces here because I am having problems with crashes. Let's go downstairs and take a look around at this one last time. I am proud of the way that this place turned out. Certainly mods helped a lot, but also just being able to take those mods and do new things with them, like glitch those games together over there, I think adds some, some creativity and some fun to settlement building. So even now, over a year after the game has come out, settlement building still, for me at least, hasn't gotten old and isn't stale. And since we're here, I mentioned that there were pre-war buildings here. This is the pre-war bathrooms, and it's a nacho business settlement. There wouldn't there wouldn't be a nacho business settlement if there were not bathrooms. So, got some bathrooms here. I do wish that there was a way that I could put some mirrors in here, but for whatever reason, um, the mods that I have loaded that include some mirror stuff um, that just won't load in the game files you can't you can't place them down uh, that's okay if we kind of get the general idea and I figure after a couple hundred years any mirrors in here would be broken anyways the room does have some skylights to it with some plywood over it that forms a walkway we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get into the walls of this settlement and there we go, that is Flynn's Arcade and the bathrooms at the Nordhagen Beach Boardwalk. Hope you liked the video, and if you did, be sure to hit that like button down below. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. I still have a few more videos to go at this settlement, but there's also lots more settlements to come. If you didn't like, please tell me why down in the comments so that I can try and do better next time. Until next time, my name is Nacho Bidness, and I'm saying it's a great big wasteland out there. Let's go have fun in it.